New videos every day. Motivation has many definitions. You can analyze it and take it apart. There's outside factors, there's inside factors, but let's kind of break it down a little bit. We can't completely get it black and white, but let's break it down to something that's a little more understandable. I want you to be able to get motivated about being healthy, about losing weight, but we want to be able to keep that motivation. And what I want you to do is consider that pleasure is better than pain. And we're going to break it down into those two aspects of motivation. Now, when I talk about pleasure, let's consider that the carrot. When I talk about pain, let's consider that the stick. So my problem is that I see so many people using the stick for motivation. I'll give you an example. You get hungry, you get pain in your stomach, and you decide to eat. Or you're about to be, have a deadline that you need to meet, it has to be done, and the pain of not meeting that deadline makes you finally take action. The point is, when you wait for pain to be your motivator, you're pretty far away from even creating any kind of happiness and planning and, and things that, that we're going to talk about. To be motivated by pain is always to be putting out fires. To be motivated by the pain is to end up at a point where you're reactive all the time. It's a lot more stressful. And let's face it, pain is not an enjoyable thing. Nobody wants to be in pain. So let's think about this fact that you've got a choice. You can be motivated by pain. You can continue to do that. It's what a lot of people do. Or you can start to figure out ways to be motivated by the carrot, by pleasurable things. If you plan a little bit and set goals, you can look at what would be pleasurable about meeting those goals. You can look at what you gain by, by having a pleasurable motivation. Maybe it's some financial goal. Maybe it's a time goal to have more time. But let's, let's break it down to weight loss. Let's, let's go to that. Let's say that at a certain weight, you're happy. Let's take an example. Let's say at 175 pounds, depending on your size, with the, the, we're just picking a number, but at 175 pounds, you're happy. As long as you stay at 175 pounds or less, you're pretty happy. You're healthy, you feel good, you like that set point as far as your weight. Let's say if your weight <clears throat> gets over 200 pounds, you're going to be in pain. Because when you get over 200 pounds, you just don't feel real good. Uh, your appearance really changes quite drastically. People are noticing extra weight. It's, it's painful to be over 200 pounds. So you don't want to go over that, that set point. And you can be motivated by that. But if I'm sticking around that 200 pound point because I'm trying to avoid the pain of being over 200, it's much different than being motivated by the pleasure that I get from being under 175. Because under 175 pounds, we don't want to go too low, but let's say under around 175 or a little less, I really feel good. I can move. I can do everything I want. My body's operating right. Remember that extra weight is nothing but a sign that the body's not working real well. So the set points can be fairly far apart. But I want to be motivi motivated by pleasure. So anytime I get close to or above 175, I think about the pleasure and reward of being under 175, where I, where I really feel good. If I keep that motivation, I keep myself closer to a happy state of mind. Now, let's think of the idea of being happy and sad. It's not necessarily strictly a black and white thing. You're not either happy or you're, ha you're sad. There are gray areas in between, right? There are times when you're somewhat happy or somewhat sad, but you're not, you're not completely defined by either emotion. So that's more reality. Let's give a little gray area in there. If I think about that, that I can move into that gray area and back out, I'd rather be in the happy state, staying below 175. And if my weight creeps up a little bit, I'm in that gray area where I'm not really sad, but I'm, I'm a little bit unhappy. It's not that far to get back to 175 and be happy again. And in a sense, can you see how that keeps me at a healthier place? I'm not going anywhere near that 200 pounds. I'm staying at a better place. And you could relate this to anything. It doesn't have to be weight. But the idea that if you're motivated by happiness, you're real close to being happy. 
But if I'm motivated by pain, I'm real close to being sad. If I'm motivated by the stick, I don't take any action until I'm 200 pounds and going above that. Now I take action. Now I started crash diet. I have to go crazy. But I've got to move all the way from that point of sadness through that gray area. And I'm pretty far away, not only in pounds, but if the way that we define the motions, I'm pretty far away from that happy point because I've let it go so far. So can you see that? I'm just trying to show you an example of how being motivated by pleasure or a carrot is going to be a much healthier way to operate. And it's an easier way to maintain happiness. Because in a sense, I'm always pretty close to being happy. Whereas if I let it go all the way to the stick, and I'm putting out fires, whether it's the fact that I'm at that 200 pound mark, and I'm, now I've got to lose all the way to 175 to really be happy again. Whereas if I were staying around that 175, I only have a few pounds to go. I can relate that to deadlines at work. I can relate that to things that have to be done. I can relate that to a day of putting out fires, if that defines your day, where you're, you're always reacting to this and that because it's painful, because it has to be done. It has to be done right now. So now there's an urgency, and, and you're never going to be to that point where you can just kind of relax. So again, think about what motivates you. What do you use to get you moving? Is it pain or, or is it pleasure? Is it the carrot or the stick? What do you use to get motivated? What's your passion? What drives you? What, what gets you to actually get up and move? Find out how it works for you now. And then this is something you can redesign. You can reinvent this whole process. If you start using pleasure, you're going to put yourself in a better spot. You're going to be closer to that happiness place. And it's just a much more efficient system to work under, I think. Because if I'm motivated by the stick, I let things go to the point where I really have to do more work than I ever would have had I stayed close to the happy side. So the carrot and the stick, which motivates you? Spend some time and figure out how you work. And if you don't like the way that you work, if it seems like you're using too much stick, then redesign it. Redesign yourself. Find other ways to motivate you that keep you closer to that happy state. I hope that makes sense. The other thing I want to discuss with you is that when we talk about losing weight, it, it is much easier to maintain. When we talk about anything else that we could do, it's so much easier to be motivated, again, by the pleasure. So find things that motivate you and stop using so many excuses. It's so much easier to, to gain motivation and just get things done. And if you learn how you work, you can find out what does motivate you and then won't have the excuses. For example, almost everybody at some time or another uses the example that they don't have enough time. That's their excuse. They didn't get it done. They didn't get something accomplished. They never were able to do something because they didn't have enough time. Well, everybody has the same amount of time. It's not really a good excuse. Truth be told, we all have the same amount of time and we all get our priorities done in that 24 hour period. So if you don't like the results you got, in other words, you didn't accomplish the things that you really thought you wanted to do and you spent your time on other tasks, it's not because those tasks were put in front of you. It's because your priorities were off. So if you don't like what you got accomplished for the day, you need to change your priorities. It may take a little more planning so you can, you can be able to put the time out the way that you want to. But realize whatever it is you get done in your 24 hour period, those are your priorities. If you don't like your priorities, then change them. If you don't like being motivated by the stick, then figure out how you can be motivated by the carrot. I hope this makes sense to you. If you have any questions, feel free to send them in. It's been a pleasure talking with you. This is Dr. Vince Balanzi. Stay motivated, stay healthy. There are over 350 videos on our channel and I doubt you've seen them all. And the topics range from weight loss, nutrition, sexual health, all the way to psychology and mind control and anywhere in between. And I think if you check them out, you're gonna find some really interesting stuff.